Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to go from binary to hexadecimal and octal. So for the first example I'm going from binary to hexadecimal and the number I'll be using is 101101.0101 and in the purple here I have the hexadecimal number system and just beneath it I have the decimal equivalents and then you'll see why we need that later on. So to get started what you need to do is write out the binary number into groups of four digits. So if you start the decimal place and I'll just do the right side first so that's zero one zero one and now we'll work from the decimal outwards. So it gives us 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, now what we need to do is write 2 to a power beneath each one. So go like this. 2 to the power of 0. 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 3. Okay, now I'll just work out what each power is. So 2 to the power of 0 equals 1, 2 to the power of 1 equals 2, 2 to the power of 2 equals 4, and 2 to the power of 3, that equals 8. Now you need to do the same for each group, but instead of writing the powers out, I'm just going to write out the bottom answer. So, 1, 2, 4, 8, and you repeat it for each group. So, 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay. Uh, what we do now is you just multiply the top digits by the bottom digits. So 1 times 1 it gives you 1, 0 times 2, so you get plus 0 times 2, it gives you 0, plus 1 times 4, it gives you 4, plus 0 times 8, it gives you 0. Keep the decimal point, and 0 times 1 gives you 0, plus 1 times 2, gives you 2, plus 1 times 4, gives you 4, plus 0 times 8, gives you 0. Okay, and now for the next group, it's 1 times 1, gives you 1, plus 1 times 2, gives you 2, plus 0 times 4, 0, and that's 1 times 8, gives you 8. Okay, now what you need to do is sum up the group of digits for each group. So 8 plus 2 plus 1 gives us 11, 4 plus 2 gives us 6, keep the decimal point, and 4 plus 1 gives you 5. Okay, so we're almost at the final answer, but what we need to do is fix this 11 here. So the hexadecimal number system doesn't have 11 in it. So as you can see, it starts at 0, goes to 9, and then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F. So 11 in hexadecimal equals B. So we need to change this to a B. And then we can just write our other digits with it. So 6 and 0.5. OK, so this is now in hexadecimal form. And now just to show that, you just write a subscript 16 at the bottom. So it's just a miniature 16. All right. And this is the final answer, B6.5. All right. So for the second example, I'm going to go from binary to octal. And I'm going to use the same binary number that I used before, so that's Zero, sorry, one zero one, one zero one, one zero point zero one zero one. And what we do now is instead of group separating it into groups of four, you separate it into groups of three. So 
start at the decimal and work your way outwards when you separate it. So 0, 1, 0. And now we only have one digit left on the side. So what we have to do now is add two zeros after it. And that gives us our group of three. And now we'll just work again from the decimal outwards. So it gives us zero, one, one. Zero, one, one. zero one and we need three digits here also so we add a zero to the front of it okay so the next step now is to use two to a power again um, so two to the power of zero that's one two to the power of one is two and two to the power of two that equals four so now we need to do this for each group. So one, two, four. Keep the decimal point there. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. Okay. Uh, now we just need to multiply the top digits by the bottom digits. And just to make this a little bit quicker, um, you should know that anything multiplied by zero well, the answer will be zero. So we'll just multiply the ones that have a one digit on top of them. So one times four gives us four. One times two, it gives us two. Keep the decimal. One times two gives us two. Plus one times four gives us four. One times two is two. Plus one times four is four. 1 times 2 gives us 2. Okay, now we just need to sum up each group of digits. So, 4 plus 2, 6. 4 plus 2, 6. And we'll just bring down the remaining numbers. So, 2, 4, and 2. Okay, so we're actually already at the final answer, but we'll just tie it up a bit. So, now we've got 2. Six, six, point, two, four, and now just to show that this is an octal form, you just need to write a subscript eight at the bottom there, uh, because octal's base eight. All right, so this here is the final answer.